Hello dear, in this video we will study about the mole fraction which is represented by x. Mole fraction are another way to represent or express the concentration of solution and let's see how we will define the mole fraction. So mole fractions are defined as the moles of solute divided by the total moles. Total moles means total mole of solution and mole fraction do not have any unit because it's a ratio so let's see how we will define this so mole fraction x is equal to mole of solute divided by total mole of solution which uh, we can also write like this mole fraction x is equal to mole of solute divided by mole of solute plus mole of solvent so this means we will we have to consider or we have to add the moles of solute and moles of solvent both when we will divide the moles of solute then we will get mole fraction using this formula so let's see one example to understand better in this example mole fraction of SCL in a SCL solution is x represented as x SCL so x x SCL means mole fraction of SCL so if a solution contains one mole of SCL which is equal to 36.5 gram of SCL and 8.00 mole of water which is equal to 144 gram of water then the mole fraction of SCL will be means how we have to calculate mole fraction of SCL so how we will calculate mole fraction of SCL will be equal to mole of SCL divided by mole of SCL plus mole of water so now we have to add all these values in the formula so X SCL means mole fraction of SCL will be equal to 1 which is mole of SCL already given in this example and uh, then we have to add total mole of SCL and water so 1 plus 8 is equal to 9 and then when we will divide 1 by 9 we will get answer 0 0.111 so since it don't have any unit so mole fraction of SCL for this solution will be equal to 0 0.111 and here is one more important thing that uh, the sum of the mole fraction of all components of a solution must equal to 1 so if uh, SCL has mole fraction 0 0.111 then what will be the mole fraction of water means what will be the mole fraction of solvent here so how we will calculate that is e very easy mole fraction of water will be equal to 1 minus 0 0.0 0 0.111 so with that will be equal to 0 0.889 so when we will add these two together the total sum will be equal to 1 so the mole fraction of all the component in a solution must be equal to 1 it will remain always 1 so this was about the mole fraction it's a very simple example and uh, we will calculate another or we will solve another difficult question in next video.